pass in. It's a party now. I'm supposed to have wireless mics, and I keep bumping the mics. Down. What we got is two sulfurs. So we're going to start down here. Usually orange is for phosphorus, but we're color strapped here. Big circles. It's in the same family as oxygen, right? So sulfur gets circles. It's a sulfur sulfur bond there. This is lipoic acid. So the acid means there's going to be an oxygen with a proton on it somewhere. Lipoic acid. We got some carbons. Carbons are diamonds. We're just going up to a diamond. Diamond. There's another diamond up there. How do we bond them? This we're going to run. Okay, I can see right now this is going to go to another diamond. So let's do that first so we don't get too far ahead of ourselves here. And then just do the bond. And when we look, it's a simple hydrogen compound. So we can just dot, 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 dot. That finishes the carbon up. We just found a great way to sharpen crayons. Go out on the street. One side gets it flat. You just keep going back and forth and working to a point there. So we're coloring in the carbons. That one's done. This one's done. It's, re it's really coloring. I mean, if you're looking and you're like, well, I don't like that triangle, make it bigger. The dots. Is this out? I told you everything we do is using recycled materials. Hey, I found these markers. So since they were in the dumpster, we'll just use them up here. Make those bigger if you'd like. So they're done. Color them in. What we see coming along here is just probably an isoprene. Let me count those. One, two, three, four, five more carbons. So we're going to draw these right next to each other. This is the professional way, not drawing the lines in there. One, two, three, four, five. That's the isoprene. You find that a lot in nature. The terpenes, all these things. There's five carbons going through there. And we got the carboxylic. It's an acid, remember? It's on the end, there's O with the acid. There's that. Just like an alcohol, but with the double bonded O there. We look across, and what we see is they're hydrated. So all these carbons now. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, count the bonds, carbon to carbon, one, two, three, four, that's it. Take your crayon, now we need our pointy part because these are kind of smaller, color them in. Huh? Isn't this fun, kids? This is real chemistry. This is one of the molecules that should be considered an essential element, nutrient at this point. Lipoic acid. Probably see written as alpha lipoic acid. It shows the structure the way these things are. So this is really what it looks like. Huh? Diamonds? <laughs> I mean, this is simple. Five-membered ring, two are sulfurs. No nitrogens, don't see anything blue, right? Pretty cool. What are we going to do next? Uh, 
vitamin A. How about that? We're getting some long, tough molecules here, gang. I'm proud of you for hanging in there. Vitamin A. Vitamin A. Now, A and D, these guys are related, so you... It's all a matter of what part of the process of breaking them down and building them up are they in. Carbons, there's a ring structure. We're not worried about rings, just draw six diamonds. One, two, three, four, five. So it's just a matter of seeing where a double bond is first out there. There's two methyls coming off this guy. So there's one to a diamond. There's another to a diamond. And see, at this point, it doesn't matter where you're drawing them off there because the ring is flat. So as long as all the bonds are in there... These are all hydrated, so just single bonds on there. Isn't that neat? That is a complicated molecule right there, side group. So where we're going now, off here, is to a diamond, and this is going to be our chain now. So there's one... There's going to be some repeating double bonds here, so we're going to have to find a way. Up. Double bond. Up. Do this on the side. And take these two down to the double bond. And these go all the way across like that. Looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine carbons across there. Anyway, what we see is one... Let's take our time. Let's back up a little bit here. Okay, we know these are methyls. So let's do the methyls here. One, two, three. One, two... Three. Let's color them in so we don't have to worry about them. They're black here. Color it in. So as long as the diamond has its four bonds, we'll color it in. That one right there, it's got all its bonds. I bet these double bonds, you know, what's this one here? One, two, three, four. See, we got two lines going to the same one there. We got to watch that, huh? Carry that over. So, uh, so we're correcting ourselves. If we make a mistake, we're, we're able to see it before we turn our paper in. On the double bond down here, there's a methyl group coming off there. What's a methyl? CH3. The 3 means 3 hydrogens. So there you go. 1, 2, 3. So these are going to start looking real familiar. Let's color it in. It's got all four bonds. That's got four bonds. When we're looking across, these are just simple hydrocarbons 